Mani Padme Hum Mani Padme Hum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, celestial way showers of the new golden age of eternal blessed consciousness. We had another 24 hours of massive energies flowing in with the electromagnetic pulse coming from Solaris. We had higher dimensional frequencies flowing all day. We had many earthquakes all over Pachamama, especially in the crown of Lemuria, with a mega quake of 8.2 in Sandpoint, Alaska, and one after another in this crown star portal. We also had 5D plasma photon waves coming in, appearing as a 35 hertz and 59 hertz blast in the resonance on the Schumann charts. The CME has reached the earth and is causing Gaia to be totally lit up. We are feeling these in many ways. Lightworkers are reporting many ascension signs all over this realm. Everything from no sleep last night to intense dreams, vertigo, and major anxiety today. More major flooding and heat coming in. What we are witnessing is multidimensional and multifaceted. The holy waters are rising for the final purge, cleansing, and removal of toxins and any chi blockages in the ley lines, which are Earth's meridians. All acupuncture points are being released and all anomalies resolved. In Taoism, we say allow the chi to flow smoothly without hindrance. The water ways and the dragon lines are being cleared for the sacred downward flow of divine feminine energies of goddess, priestess, healing, and transformation. This is the great shift of the ages and the collective purge. All that is keeping Gaia and humanity in the lower frequencies are being removed and released. Great Spirit is in charge and is leading the way for the ground crew to keep lighting the grids to assist in this ascension process. We rise together, and in the dawning of heaven on earth, we keep the faith and hold the line and consistently fire the grid with our joy, love, and passions. Please sing to Gaia and to all her children. She needs us now more than ever. Wayshowers, lead the way into the Garden of Eden of full consciousness. Fully awake and fully aware. Peace, love, and light be unto all. Aho. And with these powerful waves coming in, we had many activations all over Pachamama. We had 240 M1.5 or greater earthquakes. And the 8.2 in Sandpoint, Alaska, the most powerful earthquake of the day. And the most powerful earthquake of 2021. So this is saying a lot. These energies are ramping up, amping up. We had so many activations in the crown of Lemuria, more than I can count. Everything from 3.0 up to the 8.2, one after another, and for the last 15 hours or so. We also had activations in Mankato, Kansas 3.2, Central Pacific Rise, East Pacific Rise 5.3. We had an activation in Myanmar 5.5, 10 kilometer depth, 5 into the 10. And it looks as though in the Alaskan Peninsula alone, there was over 100 earthquakes in the last 24 hours, one after another. These are full crown activations. This is the Crystal Palace activation of Pachamama. We also had a 4-4 activation south of Fiji, 603 kilometers depth, Divine 44. Chile, South America, 4-2. South of Tonga, 4.8. Taiwan, 4.3. The Ring of Fire totally lit up again in the sacred portal where the three holy mountains come together. Tian Shan, Celestial Mountain. Kunlun in the middle, Divine Feminine. And then the South, the Himalayan, Divine Masculine. We had a 5.0, Tajikistan. And then in the sacred portal, Iran and the foothills of the Zagros Mountains. 4.4, another 4.4 4 activation, creating the 8.8 portal of the Lion's Gate, the Lyra Nation. And this was on the coast of the Persian Gulf, right across the Gulf from Kuwait and Kuwait City, the Middle East. These are some ancient, ancient portals. We had an activation in Mexico, Chiapas 4.1. And if you listen to our quick update earlier today about this massive earthquake we also had major more flooding all over this realm massive flooding in nogales sonora mexico also in nicaragua 
and Saudi Arabia this week, along with the major flooding in China and India and other parts of the east. The whole grid is lit up and activated. 510 coming in. Gaia is ascending and all her children with her. Now let us continue with the Sabian symbols. Right now the moon is at 20 degrees, 44 minutes Aries. The sun is at 7 degrees, 9 minutes Leo, 244. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 8 degrees Leo. Glass blowers shape beautiful vases with their controlling breath. And the current Sabian symbol for the moon at 21 degrees Aries. A pugilist boxer entering the ring from astrologyweekly.com. And now my sacred condor pulls a card for you all today from the tarot deck, Shadowscapes, from Stephanie Poimoon Law and Barbara Moore. And the card she pulled for you today, card 11, for this powerful gateway. And the card is Justice. To the Egyptians, when death claimed a soul, one was brought to be judged by the goddess Maat. She weighed the soul on her scales against a feather, and if found wanting, that soul was sent to the underworld. There are those who say justice is blind, but that is not so. Her eyes blaze white, not with blindness, but with the pure white of truth. She sees through mere flesh, peeling aside the layers of emotion, dissemination, illusion, and perception, and into the heart, where the unfettered awareness resides. There is no hiding. She stands for karma. The souls gathered in the butterflies hover near, and she bears the feather close to her heart like a sword. She judges not with her own bias or with grays of maybes, but in terms of stark black and white. Things are as they are, fair, impartial, and right. And there is a balance that is achieved when true justice has been meted out, an evening out of what was not settled correctly. Meaning balance, harmony, equilibrium, assuming responsibility, weighing all sides of an issue before making a decision, choosing with full awareness. Justice relies on a logical mind, capable of objective ruling on situations and adjusting what needs reassessment, meditation on right, morality, and duty, and perhaps compromise must be made in order to truly even both sides of a situation. Admit and acknowledge the truth. Comprehend the results of your actions and the connections they have to everything around, and from that, set a course for the future. And in these final days of the false 3D matrix, true justice shall be achieved and administered. And now today, from Divine Sister of Delight, S.A. Smith, energies are here. Magnetosphere surrounded by big, dense, high vibrational energies. CME expected tonight or tomorrow. Mega quake of 8.2 hits Alaska. Tsunami warnings for most of the west coast of USA. Do you see a pattern? Gaia is rising. We knew the light had won. We knew we had done it. Now we are catching up. Time to anchor in the light. Hold your space and frequency and be that amazing beacon of light you are here to be. Do whatever it takes to keep your frequency high and balanced. Staying at your highest frequency is the key to lessening this ascension symptoms, which should always begin to lessen over the next three weeks as you begin to step into a new level of you. All of this is happening because of you. You heard the call and took the mission. You came to the planet, leaving your memories and abilities behind. You did that. You. Now you are about to recapture you all over again. Hold that light. Now is your time to literally shine from a girl in the universe.com and from Isis channelings need to keep focus on point as the distractions will be on the rise. Whenever we are on the precipice of important gateways as we are now definitely feeling the blue ray lion serious energies beware of the distractors. These may show up as false twin flame energies reoccurring or new or old addictions resurfacing anything that keeps your energy and concentration too occupied to prevent you from tapping into the highest potential these gateways hold. July through August is always significant with respect to personal upgrades and rewiring in line with our highest soul potential and reason for incarnating in the now. But this time around, the 22 star nations forming the cosmic diamond are now poised to play a greater role in our change of trajectory as a collective 
a whole new level of alien starseed DNA is now getting activated for many to play a greater part as cosmic liaisons. In the past few days, weeks, I've had a number of co-creation sessions centered around activating the alien starseed DNA for a whole new level of cosmic co-creation. The blue avian DNA activations coming up in majority in the lead up to the Sirius Lions Gateway, which wasn't the case earlier. There is a new force, energy, being birthed on cosmic significance via the 22 star nations to assist us in our collective ascension process, and it is imperative that we are all invested, mind, body, and spirit at this time. And so too are the distractions popping up that may or are beginning to encircle you. Keep your focus on point, and light and grace and joy. Be the change you want to see. Sake na from Isis Channelings.wordpress.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Catherine May. Jesus Sananda. Beloved ones, it is time of change from darkness to light, from suffering to joy, from anguish to celebration. This is a time that will be marked in your history books as the beginning, for it is the beginning of the new golden age. My heart fills with joy as I observe the blossoming of humankind, so long imprisoned by darkness. You are awakening, stretching your mental and spiritual muscles, freeing yourselves from old dogma, depressing old ideas and feelings, and you are spreading your wings to take flight. You, humankind, are known throughout the cosmos as the creator race, the explorer race, both well-deserved descriptions. Those of you who are incarnated now have no idea of the magnitude of the adventure we have undertaken together, which is now in the very last phase of completion. Your preparation for the ascension of planet Earth and all her inhabitants is a historic event by cosmic standards and will be one for the books, as you are fond of saying. All the universe is watching in anticipation to see how we execute the great project. It has been planned with great care over thousands of years through innumerable revisions with the tireless leadership of ascended masters from the far reaches of the cosmos who came to assist us. Your ancient references do not name us. The Kumaras from Venus who came here together during the Lemurian civilization some 100,000 years ago to assist in the development of the human species. They do not tell of the many races from your galaxy and beyond who contributed their DNA to your present brilliant combination of creativity, passion, intelligence, and physical strength. And they do not tell of the hundreds of thousands of incarnations you have experienced here and elsewhere in your long development of your souls. The Dark Ones who took over control after the fall of Atlantis did not want you to know of your close connection to others. They preferred to convince you that you were alone and in danger. This way they could control you through fear and loneliness. We came to help out during the long descent into the third dimension and back again to the fifth dimension, which was and will be again our Garden of Eden. We saw long ago that darkness, temptation, and the attraction of power and domination would be a serious challenge for humankind in the free will condition behind the veil of forgetfulness. For this reason we came, under the guiding light of our beloved Sanat Kumara, to offer our assistance to bring the message of God's love to humankind as you, the brave souls who incarnated here, struggled through lifetime after lifetime without the comforting memory of your life between lives, at home in the loving embrace of your heavenly family. We have been known as the Elohim, or the Chosen Ones, although we were all chosen as volunteers. The 144,000 souls who came here to keep the torch of love and light burning through the ages, as Mother Earth and her inhabitants evolved toward enlightenment. There were indeed dark times for all of us, because Earth has been one of the most difficult and challenging environments where an ambitious soul could come to test their mettle and learn by experience how to live in complete awareness and complete command of one's thoughts, feelings, and actions. You may be saying, but I can't do that all the time. 
I tell you, dear ones, you can. You have it in your original DNA, which has now been activated, to practice complete mindfulness. It is a matter of training. You are getting much help in this regard, and more help is on the way, in the form of your loving star brothers and sisters. Everyone will be helped individually and together as part of the plan to ascend together. No soul will be left behind. You see, one of the strengths of an ascended master, as many of you are, is the development of the vision of ourselves as one, inseparable. It does not matter what transgressions a person may have indulged in this lifetime. Most of you have come at one time or another to be the catalyst for change by pushing and prodding your fellows to take action against oppression, to fine-tune their taste for freedom, and to practice strength of character by being a force for the greater good. We tell you now, all is forgiven. Turn to the light. Use your energies now to do an about-face and join us to create a world of prosperity for all, beyond your wildest dreams. No one will experience want. No one will know poverty or loneliness. There will be no need to be on top because no one will be on the bottom. Those of you who have struggled in this life to fulfill your dreams of success and wealth, or who have tried to make the world a better place and feel you have failed, Never mind that you were not always successful. Your contributions, especially those that came from the heart, helped to bring us to this incomparably successful moment. The startling truth of your individual role in this event has been recorded for posterity in the great holographic library of the cosmos. You will soon all know the truth of this magnificent endeavor in which every single one of you played an important part. There are no exceptions, no unimportant souls. Awaken, beloved brothers and sisters. You are loved. You are needed. You are God. Yes, indeed, we are all the beloved creations of the Great One. How could we not be loved abundantly? How could any one of us be forgotten? It is impossible. The prosperity funds are about to begin pouring forth for all of Earth's people. You, your family, and friends will be free at last to enjoy our earthly paradise. You will laugh and sing and dance, and one day soon you will tell the young children about the day the earth went to heaven, and no one even had to die to get there. How can I tell you in words how it touches my heart to see my beloved humankind reaping the rewards they so richly deserve? To Mother, Father, God, my beloved Kumara family, my dear Lady Nada, Saint Germain, and Lady Portia, Ashtar, Athena, and our galactic family, the Federation of Light, all the tireless ground crew, and the entire company of heaven, I humbly give thanks. The love we have created together will burn brightly through the ages as a beacon for all God's beings. I am honored to be your loving servant, Sananda, from Who Needs Light dot org, and from Divine Sister of the Light, Linda Lee. Divine update, the special ascension portal is still open. Beautiful family of light warriors, as of today the divine was able to bring more than half a million light workers to the fifth dimension. The ascension portal is still open and will remain open till the end of the week. The divine is very pleased with the ascension progress and the numbers who have ascended in the special time frame. The divine says that there was a particular group of light workers that the divine wanted to uplift to the new earth, and now the divine has achieved that goal. The divine has successfully brought this group of souls to the new earth today. For that, the divine is indeed very thrilled. Job well done, dear ones. In the next couple of days, while this ascension portal is still open, the divine encourages all the ones who are ready to keep trying. The divine is by your side and doing the best to help. The Divine says that there are a large number of light workers whose vibration says they are ready, and yet they have doubt about themselves. Because of the doubt they have, it makes it very challenging for them even to try, not to mention giving it their all. The Divine asks these light workers to give it a chance, even though you may have doubt. Giving it a chance does not mean that you get rid of all the doubt. It only means that you are aware of the fact that you have doubt. Just try and let nature take its course. That way there won't be much pressure and stress to perform. The best approach is just to relax and make the effort and see what happens. In the last few days there are a lot of newly awakened lightworkers who manage to ascend. This is a miracle, the Divine says. 
That alone says volumes about this physical ascension, for spiritually ascended lightworkers have been on the path for a long time. Their ascension is a gradual process. For some newly awakened lightworkers, their path seems to be easier. This is partially because these lightworkers don't have much background baggage. They had the clean slate, if you will, when they started. So a few years of concentrated work and they were ready to ascend. And their ascension journey is a whole new story for the lightworker community. The Divine is hoping that all lightworkers can learn something from this younger generation of lightworkers and make their own ascension process easier. And this is today's update. Divine love and blessings to you all. Linda Lee, the Divine in the company of heaven, so it is. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Karen Lithica, Light Leaders, Advanced Souls, we send through this message to confirm the great significance of your role, to realize the light knowledge you hold within, to see yourself expanding the light of others as you collectively educate and awaken the global light family, connecting to the many who hold the ancient light frequency, the ancient story of now leading to the now moment in this timeline, for within every soul this high vibrational light alliance is available. As the new light age enables a higher vibrational light resonance to interconnect every being, for the unfoldment of your true light mission requires dedication, following the higher light path, acknowledging your role as a caregiver to humanity, assisting from a space of higher vibrational light, anchoring your light mission with Mother Gaia as you align to the greater good of every being. Your higher light mission is found within the true source of you, within every thought, tear of joy, positive affirmation. You need to simply tap into this pure frequency and align to this high vibrational light. As our world trajectory is higher light frequency, you are simply becoming more integrated to the future reality of your world. As love and unity light codes shower your reality, sending waves of cosmic love, the Arcturians and Karen Lithica, love equals unity from KarenLithica.com. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Carolyn, Servant of Yahweh, It's go time, fam. Today you are quickly ascending higher, free. Healing on a soul level is completing. Your position to cleanse, heal, and restore the messianic bloodline has been a great success. You cleared them and yourselves of the spells that created the twin flame trap. It's all collapsing the entire community collectively. For the Divine Masculine Christ to be free of sin and choose the 144,000 golden ratio of the Divine Feminine Christ. Those involved in that community are having a collective consciousness wake up now. They are breaking free from the seed point to return to their covenant union through the Most High. This is God's divine intervention saving the Beloveds from that separation agreement. The past 24 hours have been clearing the chains that the devil had attached the divine masculine and feminine Christ. The shackles are off. I keep hearing and seeing. All divine unions are free to go. This is the opportunity for you to begin a stable new cycle and opportunities of marriage, wisdom, peace, and the real you. Rest and relax today, knowing that God is redeeming you for your service. Gluttony has ended, providing purification of the heartbreak of the past. For a healthy, fresh, clean start, emotions are restoring to a state of happiness and love through this process that will fill you back up with new energy and excitement to begin anew. Activations of the light body are now quickly releasing any remaining karmic attachments. You may be feeling the kundalini fire activating the new chakra system as the light body exchange continues, merging you more with Christ. Know that any pain and discomfort are a blessing in disguise, as God is removing any remaining abandonment wounds that attract unhealthy relationships and people that put lust ahead of love. Know that this is the releasing and endings of the past relationship loops and your role in them. Today, the collective twin flame community has begun healing. As the spells in the community have broken, Neutralizing of all division templates are clearing through this lunar gateway, freeing all divine unions. As this all continues, your confidence, creative output, and happiness are growing stronger and stronger daily. You'll be able to help others ascend out of that karmic timeline, just like you have, as soon as they are ready, which I am hearing as soon through revelations. In Jesus Christus' name, Amen, from Carolyn Kundalini Twin Flames. 
And from Divine Bro Star of the Light Daniel Giamario from Shamanic Astrology Mystery School, Mars, Venus, Mercury, and Jupiter happenings. There are a variety of interesting and notable planetary events over the next week involving Venus and Mars, Mercury, Jupiter, and the Moon. Mars will ingress into Virgo on Thursday the 29th, the final sign he passes through before entering the underworld on August 23rd. Perhaps of greater significance is that on Friday, Venus and Mars will separate beyond 10 degrees, marking the end of a most significant flashpoint in the Rapunzel de Muzzi saga that I've been writing about the past month. At this point, Venus can clearly be seen to rise higher and higher into her evening star brilliance, maturity, and sovereignty, while Mars continues to dim and move closer to his descent into the lower world. Also of some interest is that the separation point on the 30th is in conjunction with the magnificent heart star of the lion, Regulus, at zero degree Virgo. This happens only 23 degrees above the western horizon. Easy to see Venus, but possibly more difficult to see much dimmer Mars. Both sacred feminine and masculine will require the autonomy conveyed and the reminder that they are connected to their essential divinity. Mercury begins the week at nearly 27 degrees Cancer, within 6 degrees of the Sun. Leo is ingressed on Wednesday, July 28th. Within this current unfolding phase of the Gemini synodic overtone cycle, this is part of the psychopomp phase when the Mercury is invisible on the other side of the Sun. This phase of the Mercury synodic process is lasting from July 23rd through August 11th. The exact exterior conjunction with the sun happens August 1st at 9 degrees 32 minutes Leo. During the psychopomp phase, Mercury is off the world stage and receiving galactic stellar transmissions from the celestial underworld. Should you have been born within this phase, you also have this function as a guide for souls, a knower with experience of all the pathways, whether they are of the lower, middle, or upper world. You can offer guidance, assisting others in whatever realm they came to explore and return from. Jupiter will retrograde back into Aquarius at 5.43 a.m. PDT on Wednesday, July 28th, and will remain in Aquarius until the complete ingress into Pisces on December 28th. There is a beautiful conjunction with the Pisces moon dominating the morning sky, quite close Monday morning, and still visually impressive Tuesday morning. Jupiter, as the planet of personal and global dharma, has had a taste of Pisces since May 13th. Now there is a backtrack into the mystery school of Aquarius. Once again, it's the inquiry into the shadow and light of Aquarius, which I have written and spoken of for many years. Saturn and Aquarius, referencing here the hijacked Saturn of the only the last 2,000 years or so, continues to do its best to constrain the freedom and individuality of Aquarius and box it into a top-down, empathic, less control program and collectivist ideal. My desire and hope is that this initial Piscean transmission, which will dominate with greater strength in 2022, will have contributed a greater sense and feeling of heart. Most importantly, I mean universal and transpersonal heart. This is what, in the spiritual philosophy of India, is the Ananda, part of the great formula that describes the trinity aspect of the one reality, Satchit Ananda. My prayer is that as many as possible can feel the presence of that universal energy of love, of being held in her embrace, or in the words of a favorite song from 1966 by the birds in their song 5D, as I opened my heart to the whole universe, and I found I was loving, and I saw the great blunder my teachers had made, scientific delirium madness, lyrics from Roger McGuinn, and from Here in the Moon Astrology, Thursday, July 29, 2021. We're out there somewhere between the known and the unknown, trying to reel in both for a closer look. Anne Lamott. A solar wind stream hit Earth during the early hours of July 28th. First contact rattled Earth's magnetic field and sparked a rare blue auroras over Canada, along with four alpha Capricorned fireballs over the USA. Today, July 29th, Mars moves into the Earth sign Virgo, conjunct Regulus, opposing gas giant Jupiter, followed on August 1st by a Sun-Mercury conjunction in Leo, activating the game-changing Saturn-Uranus square. 
fixed star Regulus at zero Virgo is known as the Watcher of the North. Its very recent glacially slow shift of millennia from Leo to Virgo is a hopeful sign that our cultural fixation with the tech titans, rocket ship blasting inventor billionaires, digital pioneers, brotopia, presidents, and tyrants will gradually be subsumed by gender and ecological rebalancing. Expect a lot of hot air. Mars Jupiter means soap opera style dramatics over promising and under delivering clashes of opinion and self-promotion sun mercury and leo can be ultra narcissistic all about me 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 channel mars and practical virgo conjunct regulus to do some house cleaning literally and metaphorically to sweep away excuses for inaction and to start doing the next right thing one step at a time turn strong will into skillful will with Sirius streaming through Leo this month, between two Aquarian full moons, we all need to be focusing on love, emotional intelligence, and freedom. From here in the moon astrology.co.uk, and from Divine Sistar of the Light Leo Whitehorse, Lua Astrology, Venus and Virgo square the nodal axis, Mars and Leo opposite Jupiter retrograde in Aquarius. Mars enters Virgo. We are still on high alert with the ongoing T square. The impetus is to take some great action or risk, to rush to judgment, to rain down retribution, patience is in short supply, but a quiet leap of faith and wise knowing from the heart can help us turn a corner. The entry of Mars into Virgo brings the earthy, grounded energy that we need to dial down the heat and work out what can be done instead of wild missions and sweeping statements. Mars now invites us to concentrate on the details, a tweak here, a polish there, hone your skills, make your goals achievable by breaking them down into bite-sized steps, eliminate time-sucking tasks, declutter your to-do list, focus on efficiency. With Virgo's emphasis on health, it may be time to initiate a change in your diet, treatment, or exercise regime. Maybe you have already identified some red flags or warning signals. Act now. When it comes to to fixing world issues, actions speak louder than prayers. Consider what can I do to be of service. From LeahWhitehorse.com And today from the Zolkin Times, Kin 227, Blue Rhythmic Hand. The number six is called Rhythmic and its keywords are Organize, Equality, and Balance. Day six is all about organizing yourself and getting down to practicalities and being a bit more serious. That's not a bad thing. We all could do with sorting ourselves out from time to time. So be good and make that list and get things done today. Today is blue hand and the keywords associated with it are healing, knowing, and accomplishment. The blue hand is always an interesting day with a process that can lead to great accomplishments, but first healing must take place, which can lead to confrontations with issues you may have suppressed. The blue hand is about putting your hands to good use too, and so it is a good time for any activity involving the hands painting, pottery, carpentry, or playing guitar, when you combine the meaning of the number and day, the result is accomplished through balance or organized healing. It's a day guided by blue hand, and so that's a double helping. And today from Divine Bro Star of the Light Roger Grossman, today is blue rhythmic hand day on the 13 moon dream spell Mayan calendar. Blue hand, tribe seven of the 20 tribes, solar archetype cycle, knows healing accomplishment. Blue Hand encourages you to work with your hands. Hands create, hands destroy, hands heal. Having allowed necessary deaths to occur during yesterday's white world bridge or archetype, you are now ready to heal. What is the first thing you do when incurring an injury to your body? You may well shout out loud, but at the same time you automatically place your hand or hands atop the injured area. The reason you do this is that it feels better, rubbing your temples to ease a headache, putting your hands atop your belly when you have a stomach ache. Massage therapy, Reiki, and healing touch are all healing modalities that are transferred through the hands. Use your hands to create something. It is a good time to work on those handyman projects or to lend someone else a hand. Your inner knowing is especially prominent today. You know what you want. The tricky part about knowing is that you likely have no idea how or why you know these things. You just know you know. If you try to figure out how or why you know what you know, your mind may well talk you out of what you already knew. Knowing comes from the gut and heart. Remain mindful of your mind. Because unless it is working for your heart, it will play tricks on you. Trust your inner knowing because it's always correct. All of that knowing, handiwork, and healing pay off in the form of accomplishments. 
Acknowledge and celebrate the many accomplishments you achieve throughout a day. Rhythmic tone of equality. Step six of the 13 step creative energy tone cycle. Organize balance and equality. Tone six is where the biggest transformation takes place on the creative energy cycle so that equality and balance can be achieved. If you look at the way the number six manifests in the physical world, a great example is how six appears on the face of dice, where it appears as two columns of three. If you were to cut that image in half with a line, no matter where you draw the line, you will always wind up with two equal and balanced remaining portions. Yesterday's heart-centered emanations of equalizing opportunity and death, white world bridger, are transformed through today's rhythmic tone so that equality and balance can be attained. This process enables you to become magically attuned and centered so that you can resonate with new frequencies coming through during tomorrow's Tone 7. Tone 6 is also referred to as the housekeeping tone. Put everything in its proper place and order both outside as well as inside of yourself. Strive for equality and balance in all of your creative endeavors. Organize, balanced, and equal, knowing, healing, and accomplishment. Day 6 of the 13-day cycle themed White Wind, Communicates, Spirit, Breath. And today from Divine Sister of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Blue Rhythmic Hand, Kin 227, 29th of July 2021, Accomplishing Great Things. 29-7-2021 equal 11-7-5 equal 11-12 equal 2-3 equal 5. 29 spiritual trial strength. 11 portal gate polarity. 2 twins partner cooperation. 7 mystic magic solitude spiritual initiation. 5 freedom change transformation liberation. Kin 227 equal 11 equal 2 partnership cooperation. A very powerful day to liberate healing and accomplishment. Bringing assistance from spirit, Kin 227 occurred nine months ago on the 1111 portal date of the 11th of November 2020. And today we have a 2911 code reopening that healing gate. Today is day six in the wave spell of each. The great white wind who holds the power of spirit and is bringing forth the benevolent winds of change. We are learning to embody spirit by becoming hollow vessels for spirit to communicate and work divine magic through our being. Today we are becoming a tool for spirit to work through, volunteering to do God's work. We have the power of accomplishing many tasks today in order to make our lives better and the lives of others better too. Tone of creation, rhythmic, tone six in the physical realm is a six coding adding the heaven and Christ frequencies to the blessing today. Rhythmic tone action balances, power organizes, essence equality. Tone six operates in the physical realm and thus we are assisted in accomplishing physical tasks today. So get out your to-do list. Today's spirit is asking us to put our house in order. As they say, cleanliness is next to godliness. It is time to tidy up and remove the dust. The house of God is clean and spacious, creating the space needed for spirit to enter and bring divine miracles. Today is a great day to find greater balance in your physical reality, body, by allowing spirit to assist you in any way, shape, or form that is needed. We are organizing our physical environment for greater balance and equality. It is also a great day to accomplish more balance and equality in our planetary body. A fantastic day for spring cleaning, feng shui, decluttering your house space, organizing your office, channeling ideas, preparing for your new mission, and breaking down the steps required to accomplish your dreams and desires. Today's questions are, how can I organize my physical reality to accomplish more balance, healing, and wholeness? Am I willing to volunteer to be a tool for spirit to accomplish great things, divine blessings for accomplishing balance and healing miracles today? In Lakek Alakin, Christina White, Magnetic World Bridger, Kin 66. Kin 227, Blue, Rhythmic Hand. The mantra, the code for today is, I organize in order to know, balancing healing, I seal the store of accomplishment. With the rhythmic tone of equality, I am guided by the power of my own power doubled. 
And on this powerful day of transformations and activations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below, what you're experiencing, what you're feeling, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now, I'd like to also take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. We rely on our monthly pledges on Patreon and our donations for our daily living expenses. I'd like to welcome and thank Divine Sistar of the Light, Delia Sky, for your pledge and support on Patreon. Thank you very much. If you'd like to make a monthly pledge and receive our monthly teachings, trainings, meditative practices, and other transmissions on Patreon, you could do so at whitegoldeagle.com or go to patreon.com forward slash prime disclosure. Now I'd like to also thank Divine Sister of the Light, Arifa Gill, for another donation. Thank you very much, Divine Sister. We appreciate you and all of you for your continued support. If you'd like to make a one-time donation, you can do so to our PayPal account, the link at eaglelovecondor.com, and all the links are in the description below this video. Now, I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condor's artwork on Etsy. You can purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, and other works of art, healing jewelry on lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmission with powerful codes from our Pleiadian bro stars and sisters of the light and a powerful divine decree for releasing and clearing all karma. Pleiades 1 messages, July 29, 2021. P1 calling Terrans for origins recognition. Attention for calls in PVSE-SDE. Divine experiences increase. Physical adjustments started. Terran biological enters into integration. Reconnections expand into the galactic zone. Deconstruction start in intensive. Terrans reevaluate internal. Attention, Terrans. New transformational waves sent. Specific attention for 303, 606, 909, 1212, 1515, 1818, 2121, 00. First wave, one third. Attention, Terrans, level one packages, deliveries in progress. Unconscious liberation started, two thirds specific layer, greater than 33% non regressive. PVSE plus 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 11, quantum recreation started, deep alignment authorized, 99% non regressive. 444, local and definitive fall, infiltrations plus plus plus, initiated equal 89% non regressive. Internal parasites and etheric burning. Moments of creativity increase. Temporarily end of transmission. Pleiades 1. Supporting active missionary channels. From DisclosureNews.it And from Divine Sister of the Light, Asara Adams and the Pleiadian Syrian Arcturian Council of Light. The Divine Decree to Clear Karma. In the name of my beloved I Am Presence, I now call forth my galactic family of light, the beloved Ascended Masters, and the great angelic hosts. I ask for these blessed beings of the light to amplify, intensify, and multiply the power of this decree with the light of a thousand suns from the great central sun. Beloved mighty I Am Presence, charge and fill my mind and body with divine inner peace, love, harmony, abundance, health, and happiness. Fill my entire being, mind, heart, body, and aura with your energy and let me see, feel, and perceive my reality through the eyes and call forth the manifestation of the divine plan. I now call for the power of my higher self and my beloved I Am Presence to clear all karma of my past, present, parallel, and future lifetimes. In the name of my beloved I Am Presence, I now call forth for the Ascended Master's Law of Forgiveness, the Violet Fire, the Cosmic Christ Fire, and the Unfed Flame of Divine Love to blaze, blaze, blaze 
into all past, present, parallel, and future lifetimes related, and to clear and transmute all karmic energies. It is done. It is done. It is done. Thank you. In the name of my beloved I Am Presence, I call for the Ascended Master's assistance to remain in harmony in thought, feeling, words, and action at all times. I am now living in wonderful realities to create a higher dimensional life of love, peace, harmony, health, creativity, abundance, joy, and the fulfillment of the divine plan for all. In the name of my beloved I Am Presence, I now charge myself and my world with the cosmic Christ light of eternal perfection and the ascended masters and cosmic beings illumined substance of invincible light. I decree this for the highest good of all that is in divine service to God, now and forever. It is done, it is done, it is done. Thank you, beloved, I am. 144 coming in into the 411, the mirror of heaven and earth. And with this, thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. We appreciate you all and your support, your beautiful comments, and sharing your light with our community and our teams of the 144. Have a beautiful and blessed awakening, and keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, shining your light brightly into the night. Keep lighting and firing up the grid with your passion, your love, your bliss, your joy, your happiness. And laugh into the sky, for we laugh our way to freedom, as we all learn to be real humans of the light, meaning we live 100% from our heart, being connected to all things in all realms, at all timelines, all dimensions, here now, through the heart center, through the zero point, through the still white magnetic light at the center of all things, the one and the many, the many and the one, this is with the power of our mighty I Am Presence, which is the Christ Consciousness, the Christos, the Magdalene, the Buddha Awareness, Pure Awareness. Goes by many different names, all pointing to the same moon of enlightenment, which is the Kingdom of Heaven Within. Be sure to make it the best day ever. The Eagle and the Condor love you all. Namaste.